remember Harvick from Bakersfield. He says, if I win this thing, you will hear a huge roar. Who were the influential people that helped you get from the West Coast to the East Coast, kind of the home of NASCAR? Yeah. You know, for me, it was always about West Coast racing. And, and uh, obviously, Hornaday was, was a huge help in, in giving me an opportunity to have somewhere to stay. I mean, I mean he walked me into Dale Earnhardt's office. He walked me into Richard Childress's. And, and a lot of us leaned on, on their family. I mean, Hornaday is as blue collar as they come. Ryan Hornaday, I can't say enough for him. You know, he's got a lot of the things it takes to make a champion. What did he do to help you just on the racetrack? Not just opening doors, but as far as competing. The thing with Ron was, especially in the beginning of the truck series, he didn't change how he raced or what he did or where he went and who he was, it was always the same. You know, I think for, for me, that was probably eye-opening just because of the fact that he may have had more stuff and, and more people at his house. I think it was my talent. Ah. <laughs> That's pretty good words from you, buddy. Yeah. Well, I didn't teach you that much. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't change, though. That's not, no. that's not, that's a fact. So, you, you know, you talk about how he's never changed. One thing I've always loved is, even as a champion, you've always given Ron the credit for the opportunity like this. But I want to flip, Ron, what's it like to take a kid from the West Coast, future Hall of Famer, won so much? Well, a lot of people don't know me. I mean, it's not just I help Kevin, I help a lot of people out of just, Lindy and I can't go to dinner by ourselves. We gotta have a group of people. We just, we've been married usually for you. usually don't go to dinner. Yeah. It usually turns into a cooking festival. Yeah. But Kevin, uh, he was called a kid. Now you're looking at Kevin Harvick, the new kid on the block. I come to find out he wasn't 16 racing there. He's always like 14 and a half, 15 years See, old. They always so. say that, but I was actually 16. I was oh, just okay. really small. <laughs> you're small 16. Yeah, I was a small 16. Right. I weighed 86 pounds when I went to high school. Yeah. So talk about racing together. I know you drove for him. How about racing against one another, though? Any great memories? One of my favorite races to this day, and it was in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. It was seven turns and a jump. Remember mm -hmm. that place? Yeah. And it was my truck and Hornaday's truck. Fender. And they are destroyed. And they look identical. His spoiler's hanging off. My truck's destroyed. That, to me, you know, was, was fun. So I love the hat. And that brings me, we talked a lot about on the track. How about the Hall of Fame? You were there being inducted, helping induct him. What was that moment like for the two of you? To me, that was that was pretty neat because I've sat in that room and heard those conversations yeah. of, about you know how the voting's going to go, and you know he wound up in the Hall of Fame. So that says a lot about the respect that I think a lot of people have for him because you know if you're not Jeff Gordon or Richard Petty or, or one of those, you have to have that relationship in order to get through that room, you know, to say that you've done what you needed to do for the sport. Ron, thanks Thank for coming you. down. Thank you. That's not when we get one over on Kevin. <laughs> we'll get one on. Yeah, we got that was, one. That was pretty good.